In this video, I'll show you how to print using your iPhone and your brother MFC L2710DW. I'll show you how to connect them, how to print, and also how to use the scanner and send the results on your iPhone. So let's get started right away. So for the first step, we need to connect the brother printer to your Wi-Fi network. So go over here on the control panel and I'll show you how this is done. And we're gonna press the menu button, this one. Then we need to use these arrows to navigate through the menu. Go down, go down another time, another time, another time until you see network number five. Then press OK. Go down in this menu until you see WLAN Wi-Fi. Press OK. Then we need to select the first option. Click the OK button. Click the up button to enable Wi-Fi. It will now search for every networks that are around the printer and to shuffle through them, click the up or down arrow. Once you see your Wi-Fi network name appearing on the screen, press OK. Now it's time to type the password. Obviously, it does not have a keyboard. The only thing that this printer has is this number pad over here. You're gonna notice it also has letter for each number. Let's say you want to type a number, well go ahead and type a number. If you want to type a letter, press the number pad associated with the letter you want to type. Let's say I want to type a U multiple times. So for a U I'll press once, twice, three times and the letter U will appear. If you want to type a symbol, click on the star and a symbol list will appear and then with the left and right arrows you'll be able to select it. Press OK once you want to select the symbol if your password contains one. If you click on the hashtag sign you're gonna get even more symbol in case they were not in the first um, symbol menu over here. If you want to type a capital letter, let's say I want to type capital K I'll press the number 5 a few times until I see capital K. Here we go. If you want to erase, press the clear button. To go to the next character, you simply need to press the right side arrow after you type it. So let's say this is number 9, this is what I want. I'll press right and then I'll be able to type the next number or letter of my password. Once you're done typing your password, press OK. Then you'll see Apply Settings. Press the upper arrow here to confirm. And it'll start connecting. Once it's connected, you're gonna see Connected. Press OK. Then you're gonna go on the App Store and you need to search for the Brother Mobile Connect app. It should look like this. There's many different Brothers app for different printers, but this is the app that is compatible with this specific model. So go ahead and download it. Open the app. Once the app is open, press Next. Here you can press the Skip button. Click I agree. Press OK. Next. Allow. Okay, and now once you get this um, over here on the bottom of the screen, if by the way, if you don't see it, press on add machine and you should see these options. Press on register your machine. Wait a few seconds. If you see something appearing, press allow. And then you should be able to see in this list, I mean, it's not a list, it's just one thing, your broader printer. Click on it. Click maybe later, click skip and you should get this green check mark telling you that the printer is now connected to your smartphone. Press exit setup. It will bring you on the broader website. We just need to go back on the app itself. If there is a update available for your printer, they will tell you with this pop up screen. I suggest you go ahead and install it. I'll not do it in this video since I want to show you how to print using your iPhone and then I'll show you how to scan. So on the top here you're gonna see your printer and if you click on it you can also see how much toner is left. Very useful.
and other information. On the main page of the app to print, you simply need to select document print, choose a file that is located on your iPhone that you like to print. Then from this screen, you see there's a cog wheel, click on the cog wheel and make sure these settings are okay with you. So the paper size, I'll print on letter size. So I'll leave it like this, how many copies, fit to page layout, most people won't touch this. Then you have two sided if you want to print on both sides of the, uh, of the paper. And, set, and finally, if you have a document with multiple pages, you'll be able to select which specific page you want to print in case you don't want to print the whole thing. Once you're done, go back. Before pressing print, make sure you have enough paper in your printer and you extend this small flap over here. I'll press print and usually it takes just a few seconds. Here we go, we have printed our document. Now let me show you how to use the scanner. This printer has two different scanners, one basic one here and one on the top. If you have multiple pages, you will want to scan at the same time. I'll show you both. So if you want to use the normal scanner, the flatbed scanner, open the lid this way. And here you need to place your document. Let's say I want to scan this, put it facing down with the top of the page towards the left side. And now we need to align this corner over here with the corner of the scanner. So just drag it until both corners are touching. Perfect. Now we can close the lid. On the app, you're going to press the scan button. Make sure these settings are okay with whatever project you're trying to scan. So over here, do you want in color or black and white? The paper size, it's a letter size, so I'll leave it like this. And finally, the resolution. Here, the maximum is 300 dpi, and I suggest you leave it there. Finally, press the scan button. It takes a lot, around 15 seconds to get the scan on your screen. And then once you see this, press the done button here. You can zoom in to make sure that every details are scanned the way you want. You can then uh, make some edits to the scan. If you press this small button on the lower left side, so you can crop if you want something specific or you can rotate the scan if you placed it the wrong way. And then if you press this cog wheel, you'll be able to edit the name of the file, you, uh, the file extension here. Let's say you want a PDF instead of a JPEG, you can choose this. And finally, file size, just leave it there. I don't think it makes much difference. If you go back and press the share save button, You'll be able to share it on social media, with your contacts, on email, stuff like that. And if you want to save this scan on your iPhone, just go down this list and then you're going to have save to files. When you click this, you'll be able to select any folders on your iPhone and it will be stored on your device for future usage. Now, let me show you how to use the top document feeder in case your document has multiple pages. So over here, I have a document of four different pages. And if I was going to use the normal flatbed scanner, it will take probably three or four minutes. By using the top document feeder instead, this will just take a minute. So align your pages, put them facing up like this with the top part towards the left, glide them over here. Okay, you should hear a beep. This is just the actual scanner telling you that it has recognized that there's paper on the top document feeder. And now on the app, it's absolutely the same thing. So press scan, make sure these are okay and press scan here. Don't touch anything, just let the printer do its job. It will take each pages one by one. You can extend this flap over here so they don't come falling on your desk. And every time it scans a page, it will be added on your screen.
All right. And now the only difference here, you can press done. Press the cogwheel here. And if you want all these pages to be combined in one single PDF document, don't forget to uh, choose file extension PDF. If it's JPEG, obviously it will be saved in uh, four different JPEGs. And uh, many people don't want this. They want all the pages in one single document. So make sure you choose this option. And then this is it. Press share save the same way you did um, with the first option and you'll be able to share it or save it on your phone. This is about it. I hope my tutorial was helpful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.